While we may be living in the age of information, that still doesn't stop people from logging online and straight up lying. We don't really know why some people get a kick out of making up fake leaks on the internet, but we do know how to spot fake leaks when it comes to new game releases. Here's everything you should be aware of to not get your video game hopes and dreams broken. Firstly, be aware of the potato photo format. If you're someone who's constantly trying not to drown from all the information pouring in due to video game leaks, it's important to learn about the most common type of leak. This is known as the potato photo format. Usually, this involves taking a blurry, out-of-focus image of a new video game's title screen in a dark room. Even though most phones have pretty good cameras nowadays, this particular photo will look like it was taken with a phone from 2005, while the photographer was in a moving car. Usually, if a leak uses this format, there's a good chance it's fake and can be easily discarded right into the trash. The franchise that most frequently gets leaks like this this is Assassin's Creed. There's loads and loads of potato photo leaks for these games, often reusing assets from previous games, or sometimes even completely adding fake assets into the mix. Because of this, the art in these leaks tends to look out of place or straight up bad. This also explains why the picture needs to be of potato quality, because it helps all these fake assets to blend in all that more. If that isn't an indicator of how low effort the leaks of this format are, we don't know what is. Luckily, the keen eyes of internet investigators are often able to pick apart such leaks in mere minutes, so falling for them is the last thing you should be doing. Next, check who's posting the leak. This honestly seems like a fairly obvious step, but that doesn't stop hyped up fans from completely ignoring it in their hunger for more information. Sure, yeah, we get it, new games are exciting, but come on guys, get a grip. Most video game leaks originate from 4chan, the anonymous online messaging board. While it would make sense why someone who's actually from the industry may want to keep their identity hidden, having no form of identification whatsoever only lessens the legitimacy. Reddit is also a popular platform for posting video game leaks, and while also anonymous like 4chan, users will need to make an account to engage on the platform. A few things to check for here is how old the account of the person posting the leak is. If it was just made to post the leak, odds are you're looking at a fake leak right there. What's more, most real leakers simply post the leak and disappear into the wind, never to be seen again. The fake ones, though, stay around and discuss the leaks with people, often adding more fuel to the fire and trying to gain as much attention as possible. If you feel like a leaker is trying way too hard to rile people up and be the center of attention, you already know what's going on. Best ignore them and move on with your day. After that, consider the popularity of the franchise the fake leak is from. As we've seen so far, most of these fake leakers are just dying for your attention, so it makes sense why they target franchises that are popular and have a large and active fan base. That's not to say more obscure franchises won't also get their time in the sun when it comes to fake leaks, it's just that they're a lot less common. On the other hand, names like Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, and Grand Theft Auto are on the top of the list of mainstream games, and so, if you happen to see a leak surrounding these franchises, definitely take it with a pinch, uh, a fistful of salt. Lastly, check if it's been reported by a reliable outlet. The last way to spot fake information is to just wait for the experts to chime in. Online video game news websites like Kotaku often have insiders that are able to confirm or deny information. Most of the time, if someone like Jason Schreier has talked about a rumor or supposed leak, the likelihood of it being real skyrockets. As with all things, it may still end up being fake, but generally this is a good check to keep in mind before going into full hype mode about any new video game leak. If an especially popular leak is not being reported on by such a website, again, it's a good call to slow down that hype train because chances are it's leading you all down a cliff. These are just some of the tips that can help keep you safe from the spread of false video game rumors and information. Always remember the words of Smokey Bear's famous slogan, only you can help prevent fake video game leaks. And with that, let's head into our next segment. Now, in other news, some of the biggest GTA 6 leaks just got confirmed. The past few days have been an absolute roller coaster for GTA fans. After years of waiting for the sequel to the famous video game franchise, they're finally being given the oh so precious deets they've been wanting for GTA 6. With much of the information being served to gamers on a silver platter, courtesy of Jason Schreier, we've now gotten confirmation on a number of different rumors and leaks. First 
of all, it's true. GTA 6 is set to feature two protagonists, one of which is a female Latina. During the early stages of the game, it was referred to as the Project Americas and was set to take place across multiple cities on different continents. But it seems the idea was scrapped during development, so if you were hoping for a cross-continental trip, you're sadly out of luck. But hey, it's not all bad. In fact, fans of Vice City rejoice. Schreier reports that the game will take place in a fictional version of Miami and its surrounding areas. As part of the live game service that's all the rage nowadays, it seems we're also going to be receiving continuous updates to add new missions and cities in the future, making it very much a living, breathing world that's going to be a playground for players for years to come. Well, it definitely feels like it's been 84 years, but we're finally here. Now, we We've just got to wait for the game to release, which should be soon, right? Right? Next, Elden Ring player makes a terrible discovery after two days of fighting Moog. Elden Ring has no shortage of difficult bosses, but Moog is one that often ranks quite highly on the toughest bosses in the whole game. Imagine you've spent two days trying to fight the guy, learning his every move, and finally, finally, you manage to defeat him, only for it to not count. Well, that's exactly what happened to Reddit user QWERTY Pat too. In his Reddit post, the user mentions how after two days of struggle, he finally managed to reduce the boss's health down to zero, only for Moog's blood loss spell to activate at the last second, killing the Elden Ring player at the same time as the boss. A double KO. While you'd think maybe that counts, nope, it doesn't. Apparently, the game doesn't consider the boss defeated until the victory screen flashes, meaning QWERTY Patootie 2 lost by a mere second. Had he managed to survive for just just one more moment, he'd gotten the victory. As heartbreaking and terrible as this discovery is, his sacrifice has made us all the more informed. So it wasn't all in vain. Thanks for taking one for the team, buddy. Finally, Hogwarts Legacy Leak suggests it might release in mid-December. Fans of the long-awaited Hogwarts Legacy have been eagerly waiting for its release ever since the very first announcement. But as of yet, there's been no official confirmation just when the game is coming out. Although recent leaks seem to suggest that the game might be getting a holiday 2022 release. The newest of the leaks points towards an updated art book listing on Amazon that might have given us the magical clue we've been looking for. The placeholder date for the art book was changed from December 31st to December 6th recently, the latter of which being a Tuesday also adds to the credibility of the leak, considering that's the day most video games release on. To add even more credibility, users of Amazon UK got an email confirming the release date of the book was revised to December 6th. All that is nice and dandy, but with the release of the game not too far away, when are we going to get an official release date announcement? Well, some people are speculating that the announcement might come sometime in September. According to another leak, there's a PlayStation State of Play set to occur during the month where the Hogwarts Legacy will likely get a panel. That's right folks, this is a leak within a leak. What could go wrong? That's a wrap for this video. Did you learn any new way to spot fake leaks from this video? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See ya in the next one.